Welcome to season four. The fleet is back. The best sailors in the world are once again set to fight in equal conditions with equal boats for a five million dollar prize. The start line in season four will see a new team joining the league. Germany Sail GP team just announced in Dusseldorf. Thomas Riedel, the owner of the comms business for both Sail GP and Formula One, has put together a team with the best of Germany's Olympic talent, with double medalist Eric Heil at the helm. We are realistic. The learning curve is the, the most important thing to us, and uh, we will try our best to catch up as quick as we can. And Eric is not alone in this new adventure. The team is also co-owned by none other than German Formula One champion Sebastian Vettel. Well, I'm very excited to be part of um, uh, Team Germany. There's quite a few parallels between Formula One and sailing, but really it's the group, the people behind, and uh, yeah, the journey, the whole adventure to become part of it from the very beginning. This is Thomas Riedel's new formula. He is bringing all the experience of a four-time Formula One world champion to his Sail GP team. These are athletes which really want to win, and, and they have huge fun. They, this is, they are so passionate. To round up the team, Thomas has appointed a former Red Bull marketing director as team CEO, Tim Kriegelstein. My personal passion is personal development and, and driving high performance in teams, but this is a completely new dimension. The Germans will not only have nine other super teams to compete against, Tom Slingsby and Peter Burling are ready. They're without doubt the hottest racers in the world right now. Tom, the three-time champion. Peter, the man that got a metre away from stealing the Australian's crown in last season's grand final. The fight is on. Thank you. Welcome, welcome in the league. Yeah, thank you. So nice. Ah, yeah. You know the French uh, beret? The French beret? Macaron. Macaron. Perfect. Very nice. Thank you. You have to wear this. Oh, yeah. It's not for you, Kai. Thanks. 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 No. We got involved here first on the television production side and for the communications technology and radios and all of that. And I fell in love with CellGP and, and felt like, oh, wow, I really want to help develop this. Uh, and that was the moment when Russell asked me, well, Thomas, can you help me on getting a German team? Yeah, I can't wait to see you on the same flight. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, let's see. So I don't think we met. I'm Barbara. Eric. And oh. I haven't met any of you guys, I think, properly, but... Nice well, to see you, well, Kaina. Welcome. We decided six weeks ago to be here on the start line in Chicago. So for us, it's all about making the impossible possible until we hopefully become competitive. Hey guys. Are you there? Are you? Good. You? Sorry. Nice to meet you, Cecile. Eric. You well? Yes. We got your sponsor. Yes. You're welcome. We have all these legends sailing against each other in the series for a couple of years. So we don't expect us to beat them in the first uh, race. Yeah, but we will take our chances. Hey, mate. Hey, how are you? I don't think we've ever met. No, Eric, hey. Nice to meet you. You know, as Olympic sailors, you're aiming for this, but you don't know that you're going to land here. And our newest driver in Sail GP, Eric Heil from the Germany Sail GP team. You don't know you're going to have eight cameras in your face filming you for a whole day, a press conference amongst the greats. You're not aware that there is really all of that pressure that sure existed for them at the Olympics, but not to this capacity. And I've seen it many times, you underestimate what it does to you when you sit up on that stage and there's all these amazing athletes sitting next to you. Are you nervous or relaxed before your first event tomorrow? Yeah, feel, feeling very excited, happy, and um, yeah, honored to be here and um, have the chance to sail against these legends for sure. All right, Tom, we did hear that Kyle Langford nearly got poached by another team. Uh, yes, he was uh, getting offers, but uh, he's still here, so better luck next time. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, the aftermath of season three, it's a bittersweet thing. The, the joy and the elation. But um, the joy turns to a bit of stress shortly after because it's essentially when the season finishes, it's like the transfer period opening up and the vultures start circling around trying to get our team. I'm not at all surprised to see that happening because if you look at other sporting teams and professional sporting leagues, it's only natural. You know, the top team, clearly guys are going to target those guys because they've been the only team to put their hands on the trophy. Three, two, one, and now. Very nice. And I think we'll see more of that, especially as teams go private and their, let's say, access to funding <laughs> increases. We'll see more of that. OK, ready? Three, two... I think if you're Kyle, the question on an offer is kind of how much is it worth to your dignity? How much is it worth to your pride? But I think there's probably a, there's probably a price. All right. <laughs> Actually, it's quite healthy. It's healthy, and it's healthy if some of the teams that are perhaps struggling or the new teams can purchase some of the very best sailors to help them make that next step up. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't see a problem. I think that's just uh, what do we say? That's capitalism. <laughs> I'll just run away with the US. <laughs> First day of testing here in Chicago, very light breeze. The boats are going to be on the edge of foiling. Team Germany, these testing days are critical. Every second spent in the F-50 is gold. Basically, this team needs to catch up three years of hard work in two days of testing. Do you want to tell that on, or is that my uh, job? I mean, yeah, it feels like right now I have not, not enough experience, yeah. right? Yeah. It's the first time they've been sailing in these positions. So the first half of the training, we weren't able to get even to the speed where the boat fully starts foiling. Right? So, so we were just, you know, always just on, on one of the hulls. And then give them some feedback. Yeah. I think I, I think yeah. Eric tried. Right. On saw it didn't work. Okay, so. Good and windy afternoon from Chicago Navy Pier. The weather front we were waiting for has arrived, but it's come with more wind than expected, so race control has cancelled practice for the day. Always expectation versus reality. I really feel for the Germans. I think Eric Heil, double bronze medalist, the strategist Kiana, double gold medalist, but it's a brand new boat. They're a brand new team. There's only so many days of practicing on your own before you actually go racing with 10 boats. And that practice day is really important to get the jitters out, you know, to get the vibe of what it's like to be on the race course with the other boats around you. And they miss that. There's no racing today. There's no practice racing. So they're going to go into it tomorrow with that butterfly in their stomach, more like a dove, you know, or maybe even like an eagle, because we're in America. Well, that's it for the day. We have heard that the wind is reaching 30 knots. Those are serious conditions for Lake Michigan. Yeah, and from what I've heard, that's not the only storm brewing in Chicago, Illinois right now. Canada Sail GP team, they've been going through a fair share of bumpy weather themselves. Well, the former team home is not financially supporting the team any longer. And the whole crew, including their driver, Phil Robertson, don't know if they'll be able to finish the season. There's been challenges with the Canadian team for some time. And, and yeah, that, that it's causing a lot of uncertainty for the team. Their livelihoods are, are at stake. And so Sail GP has taken back the ownership of that team for a short period of time. So we're currently going through a bidding process. Um, we've got some interested new owners. And the way I see it, we've been, our packs are against the wall. And when our backs are against the wall, we can do the stuff swinging, right? <laughs> so we go out swinging. So let's go and enjoy it. Let's remember those fundamentals of having fun. Mandatory. Mandatory. Yeah. And enjoying the opportunity to be here and race and sail these sweet boats. So. That's got to be number one. Yeah, it's all sorted. So I've spoken to accreditation. They're aware of your arrival time. Um, they have a new pass ready for you, but it won't be a problem. Fine, how are you? How far away are you? OK. 
Get any sleep? No. Yeah. But level playing field for you. You feel for Ben. He had a funeral of a close friend that he needed to attend. It was really important. Uh, you know, Mel was a very, very dear friend, so I wanted to be there, trying with with George and my wife, try and support his family. All right. You're good. Thank you. Thank you. Life can be pretty brutal at times, and you know, the older we get, the more we, you know, experience that. Of course, and that that's kind of inevitable. And it also just shows you how lucky we are to uh, be able to do what we do with with CLGP. You know, to travel the world, race in these incredible boats, get the opportunities to do that. Hi, guys. How you doing? You right? Good. Yeah, yeah, good. How you doing? You right? Good, thank yeah, you. See you. How are you? Yeah, good. good Mate, you. right? Yeah, good. Yeah, QB? How's your funeral all right? Yeah. Sad, it is. Yeah. Yeah, nice seat, eh? Yeah, nice seat. Oh, that was okay. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, look, it was a time run, you know, getting to the airport, uh, flying out of Heathrow on Friday morning. I got here at 1 o'clock. Friday afternoon and then straight out onto the race course. So time run, but the, the guys did a great job to get the boat ready and help me out. First time GP is going to race with a fleet of 10 nations. That extra boat is going to make a big difference, isn't it? The big question is how the new team, the Germans, are going to play the pre-start. Are they going to play it super safe or are they going to take their chances? Because it's in the pre-start where the experience counts the most. And there is negative one, negative, 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 whatever. Yeah. Because yeah. if you have negative, you're already racing. Exactly, but uh, negative means we are too early. Yeah. yeah. So I have to kill. Yeah. Or no? No. The other way around. It's already wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's time to kill. If it's positive, yeah, it's you need to kill. Yeah, exactly. If it's negative, you're already late. So we're starting at, yeah, two minutes maybe, eh? Point yeah. over. Yesterday, there was no chance here for practicing, which was really like, oh my god. I mean, now the guys, they've never sailed in a group of other boats, and now we're going straight away in a race. So I was a bit scared, to be honest. Day one, race one. Six minutes before the start of the first race of season four. All points are back to zero, a clean slate for everyone. The fight for the championship starts here. Coffee, mate. We were literally like, what are we doing here? <laughs> I see Eric and he was like, okay guys, let's keep it simple <laughs> because it's epic. <laughs> yeah, I think we were all pretty nervous. We thought, oh, it's gonna be tough as super wavy, super windy. We never sailed even one start against other teams on the race course. So this was the first question mark. How is the procedure? How is the aggression on the starting line? No idea. 